All right, this is Mr. Jiren. I'm going to show you how to open and work with those files that you are about to download, specifically starting with the tumble buggy file. Um, if you double click it, it should open up Vernier Graphical Analysis. But if you don't, just open up the start menu. And even I just typed VER, and I think this even popped up when I typed V, Vernier Graphical Analysis. I'm going to open that up. And once again, this is if it didn't just open for you clicking the file to open it. When I do that, um, we don't have any sensors connected because you're at home. Uh, so I'm going to choose a file to open, and I'm going to choose the, in this case, the motion zero, the tumble buggy data. Okay, you'll have these other choices later too to download, but for now, tumble buggy. So I want you to do that, and it'll take a second to open it up. And you can see we have two graphs here, a position versus time and a velocity versus time graph. Let's talk about the velocity versus time graph because chances are that's going to be what's going to be interesting you, interesting you the most for this because um, we want to find out in this lab about acceleration. And to find acceleration, we need to find the slope of a velocity time graph. Now, in our case, this is a constant speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, and uh, I'm going to find the slope of this line. Now, I just highlighted a big chunk of this because, you know what, I'm not 100% sure. This looks pretty, I don't know, jagged. But I did also realize, I looked at the y-axis, and I realized that we are zoomed in really tight here. It's only, a, it's only a matter of a couple hundredths of a meter per second, okay? So it it's, it's looks like it might be pretty good here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope. And to find the slope, I'm going to apply a curve fit. And when I do that, I'm going to choose linear. And it turns out that, okay, so here's what we got. It looks like it's sloping pretty badly, but let's actually take a look what's going on here. Um, what it did, it does, it tells me my X range, 0.8. 0.18 to 4.74 seconds. That's telling me how much I highlighted, okay, between 0.18 and 4.74 seconds. Then it says y equals mx plus b, remind us. Now here we have our slope, and the slope here is a positive 0 0.003 meters per second per second. What that's telling me is that the acceleration here is Tiny, like it's barely like this is how many how much this the speed is changing. It's tiny, so there's probably some aberrations going on. Maybe it's slowing down for some reason, or actually it's speeding up for some reason. Maybe it's just a chunk of the data I found. But honestly, that's that that's going to round down to almost zero for me in this case. Maybe I probably want to do the trial again just to see what's going on. But uh, your graphs are going to be a lot more um, telling, I think. So this one, let's do this up here a little bit, because I'm going to do the same thing. This is probably what um, uh, uh, it's going to look like. So just one more time, I'm going to select between 0.22 and 3.98 seconds. It doesn't matter. You probably want to avoid selecting the middle, or I'm sorry, the end, end parts, because that's where a lot of your error is going to be, where it starts and where it stops. So once again, I'm going to choose the apply curve fit, linear, because it's definitely a line. And in this case, <clears throat> The y equals mx plus b. The m is negative 37.8, or it's negative 0.3787. So that's telling me that my slope is negative 0.38 meters per second. So negative meaning it's going in the opposite, in the backwards direction, in the, in the negative direction, and 0.38 meters per second, saying it's going about 38 centimeters a second, which is pretty close to what you got for the speed of your tumble buggy. Okay. Um, this range is a lot bigger. You can see there's a lot more change. This, this looks like a pretty decent graph, but this is, again, a tumble buggy, which is going at a constant speed. So things are going to look a little bit different when you open up the, uh, the graphs for uh, when things are speeding up or slowing down or doing different things. So that's how you do it. Find the slope, and let me know if I could help you.